Hello everyone and welcome to Amsterdam, the Netherlands for week number two of the Men's Premier League. And of course, other identities always welcomed. We're going to kick start tonight with the European Champion. Currently in the top 40 order of merit. His name is Justice Stone. Justice Stone can always be happy with what he has to offer. Always a good fight, hard hitting competitor inside the ring from the United Kingdom. And definitely one to watch this Premier League. And the Grand Prix not in the best, of course, the Dutch one uh, due to administrative failures. Not registered to uh, continue that quest. But in the UK Grand Prix, did, uh, did an outstanding job actually, so we don't have to forget that. Made it all the way to the semi finals as a number two uh, on the seeing list. And then lost out to the number one shade, who was also on the automatic of the number one. So just a stone, always a good competitor. You know that you've got something coming up. Just a stone. He can be quite happy with the performances so far. This season could go better according to him, but if you're in the top four of the Order of Merit and the World Championship points, you're doing a fine job. And moreover, he still has a title, while everybody else uh, who's above him, Curvus, Shade, no longer keep that. So if he keeps that up, the rain points might come in. We'll just have to check that how that is going to develop. Tonight he has a good opponent set out for him. We are just awaiting who that is. But you can tell when he comes from the smoke. It's one of the wild card entries into this year's Premier League. Selected by the board of directors. It's Edward Jackson. Edward had a good Grand Prix of the UK. He lost to Jordan Rose, but Jordan Rose got injured. He went on, he defeated Mike Tandalini and made it to the quarterfinal where he also lost, you guessed it, to Shade. So let's see what Jackson has to offer. Hashtag R for WPL. Send your tweets at RFWEFAT and you can watch these shows exclusively on RFPWEFAT.weebly.com. Show support. The more view time, the more fans there is to be earned and a total prize money. The base package at 5,000, but that can only increase. So the first match of the evening, Stone and Jackson. We've kickstarted it. Only one can this far. It's a good question. Oh, lovely sling blade there. One count by Stone. But they're all fighting each other here. Into victory, into battle. One. And two. Three. Oh, we're still counting. This is spelled out dangerous. Five. Five. Ooh. Six. 
And now up to six. Oh, check it out. Oh, and Stone does he let the can it can't no goes outside wants to win cleanly. That's a great competitor that to assist Stone from the UK is always a fair fighter. Trey. And Jackson now has taken over. But Jackson wasting no time, definitely working on the ropes. Now, take a look at what Justice Stern is going to do. Oh, I thought it was going to go for Snake Eyes, but something much more vicious against the middle turn buckle. That is painful. Two. And a takedown, boy Jackson. Wonderful display of power there. That might be it. One. And three. Great win for Edward Jackson this week on the Premier League. Didn't imagine it would go that way, but it has. Wonderful work there. Edward Jackson, your winner. This week in the Premier League has kicked off well for him. Let's see what the rest of and the remainder of this evening is going to bring. We'll be back soon. And by that, I mean in a couple of seconds for the next matchup between Jeffy B and Johnny Woods. Check it out. And the more you know about these two, I think it's the better... Because you'll learn what they've made for an impact. Jeffrey Blight, the owner of RFPW, former tag team champion, former world heavyweight champion, and we had a title belt for it, and the former seven time RFPW for champion. Cause last reign lasted by winning it, the title from Rick Curvis, then losing it to Shay, getting it back, then to Warrior J. Uh, so that's all good and well. I should no longer, uh, of course, say Warrior J. That is now Dallas. My apologies. And of course, uh, Dallas, former part of the Dutch Power membership. Of course, uh, Blight, one of the authorities, no longer associated, as you could have witnessed in the main event of uh, Fight Night. Well, there's much more to come your way because this man, a former leader of the Pirates, But this time around, he's leading a church. He calls it the church. Let's see what he comes up with. It. It's John Woods. Let's see what he comes up with next.
But you never know what is coming your way with John Woods. There's always a different woods that you're encountering because one time it's very hard hitting and the other times it's speed and agility that coming into play. You just don't know which basically form of woods you're gonna get and that's I think the surprising factor that he has. Take a look back at the Grand Prix of the Netherlands which is where Woods defeated Blight. But the last three matches Blight has had against Dallas, all 3 won. So, it can go many ways. It's just a matter of the fact is, when it comes to these two head-to-head, -head, Woods has the advantage. But how well has Woods turned up today? You just, that's, that's the unknown. That you just never know with Woods. And uh, we'll have to find out what is uh, next for Woods. Capped off in the midfield. But uh, you never know. He can go many ways with Woods. He could drop down all the way to the bottom of the order of merit. Could also just be one day on top as the champion and even as the world champion of this year. Blighting Woods, they are the two persons involved. Two great wrestlers. It's your own referee's a bit in the way. Blight takes advantage by getting out of it. Referee's trying to scoot out. Great punch, but of course that does nearly no impact to Woods. Just look at the sheer size advantage for Woods. So it comes to speed and agility in this factor for Blight. But when besides power, Woods is going to come with speed and flexibility. Yeah, and that would be no match. Because I forget. Ooh, wonderful. By Blight. Former seven-time champion. Defeated great names, including husband recovers. Just a no. There's a lovely head scissors. Factored into play. Great job by Bly, always working on the base. Somebody who was taller than him, was larger than him. Trying to cut the power advantage. And just, just the inch away from that kick taking place. We're gonna get a handstand, Hurricane Runner. And the cover now. Oh, so close though with two. Don't think that was expected. And possibly Blight might win it here. There's the kick. The Blight kick crossed the face. And Jeffy B, owner of the company, is your winner. It's always good to see trustworthy and noteworthy people in r to take the victories. And no such other than the leading authority of this company. Winning fair and square, no dirty antics, no other people needed or involved. Of course, also not allowed during the Premier League to just clarify that nobody else is allowed in the ring or near ringside during the matches. Or prior or after, it doesn't matter. One on one. Blight is your winner. Two more matches to go, and this is one to watch. I think this might be the actual main event of this week, but you don't have to discredit what's still coming. Because you've got yourself in a world of trouble when you meet either of these two. Back in Amsterdam, the Netherlands.
Because first up, rank number one from Houston, Texas, it's Shade, the Beheader, Robinson. But first up, I guess we got it the other way around. It's a current EFE champion. From Leeds, England, rank number five in the order of merit, it's Dallas. Person formerly known as Warrior J, now known as Dallas. It's not a good, good word. Uh, a spoken on Fight Night 177 last, uh, last weekend. He dislikes it or he's cut these chords with the Dutch power faction. Says he dislikes it or he's at heart. He's going to show himself a lot more. Let's see if Dallas can make it work. But that is a question. What has Dallas got to offer differently from the moniker? Does it strengthen him? Might it just be able to weaken him a little? That is something that we don't know. And that is something that we'll have to find out. And here he is from Houston, Texas. The number one in the order of merit. We got the order the wrong way around. Production issues, let's call it. And what it would be without an RFW production issue, as always. But this is the man on a shade to be had a Robinson. Former European and EFA champion. Been off to a grand start. But Shade, the winner of the Wrestling Grand Prix of the Netherlands and the runner of the UK. So he's proven himself, he's leading the World Championship at this moment. And he's won a Wrestling Grand Prix. And Dallas, he's up for something new. He's up for a challenge against his number one. One. Just the one count. And that is a quick one. Got to be confident with what you're doing. So far, Warrior J, uh, sorry, Dallas, doing a good job. You have to get used sometimes to it as a commentator. But look at that. Oh no! Wonderful display there by Dallas. This time I got it right. Oh, check it out. Oof. And a great shot with a jawbuster there. Shay is now in trouble in the corner. A little bit startled. A little bit dazed. But Dallas doesn't act on it. That is quite strange. Though. But it must have had some strategy behind it. 
think that is how we can describe that as a great strategist in the ring highly calculated two count but Shade of course known as one of the most resilient wrestlers on his roster can take a huge amount of damage and impact and now we're off to the side and on the outside but now we're going back in it I think Dallas has something up his sleeve that we don't know so I got it oh and another lovely shot into the gut that could be the end oh no two and a half for Dallas so close to victory but it is not enough yet to grab it not enough for those two points yet and if you wish to know the actual standings after the show make sure to check out all wikia or check out the scoreboard on rfpwfed.weebly.com and go to shows world championship and then premier league 2021 I'll take a look at it. Oh, no. That is very painful. Oh. Two. And Shade, as always. Now, over the top he goes. And there it is. Lights out, knee strike by Shade. And beats Dallas. Thought Dallas had it in the bag, but not enough. What a good display of power by both of these great wrestlers. You wouldn't believe it. I thought Dallas had this for a long time, actually for the majority of this match. Dallas seemed to have the better strategy, but no. And so Shade, as a number one in the order of merit, fulfills the obligation. Shade last week won against Jonathan Reid. And so that means Shade gets up to four points. We're going to move on to the main event of the evening. And it's going to be a good one. That is for sure. Because we're going to kick start off with the man from Panning in the Netherlands. He's a curly number two on the order merit. Just trailing shape by 100 fancy euros as of this moment of recording. Hashagar for WPL. That is where you can send your tweets. What do we know about Rick Curvers? 12 matches in the regular season, 7 victories, 5 losses from the European champion 9 days, and the longest reigning EFED champion of all time, 600 days in total. And the winner. Of the Wrestling Grand Prix of the United Kingdom 2021. Renault Arab, of course, also at the Netherlands, the Dutch Grand Prix. 
That was when Shake came across the victory. So he's very close to that lead. Wants to close the gap in World Championship points. He's already done that by a mile, but there's so much left to go. Okay, as I said, I want to get back into the championship scene. I want to get that title. I need it if I want to beat Shade. And just the stone is getting closer by the day and by the week. So I'm moving forward. But there's so much more to come. And I think it's no secret that Curvers, hands down, if we didn't check out the World Championship, we'll have to calculate that back, which will also be done by the board. We will still have to crown 2018, 19, 20 World Champions based on results. We'll have to check out how that's going to develop. But first off tonight is be facing the man ranked number 10 it's Jonathan Reed man from Detroit Michigan who is now not just the former quarterfinals of the Wrestling Grand Prix League no he is now the number one contender for the RFWE Fed Championship he is the next contender to take on Dallas for the EFA Championship. When that will happen, that still remains to be decided. But know this, Reed always has a dollar bill to spare. How? You'll find out soon enough. I guess probably if he wins it tonight. The Curvers is one of the bigger challenges he's going to face in this ring. Jonathan Ray, he's a little bit cocky, but I think that suits him quite well because it shows that he's not afraid of anyone. I mean, you want to learn more and more about all of these people throughout their careers. Not just what they've achieved in, in the ring, but also who are they? What do they stand for? What are their motives? And what are their dreams and ambitions? And so far, it's been a good start. We're taking a look at what we can find. Oh, good start there. Look at that, some agility by Rick Curvis. Don't witness that a lot. But it's there. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, the great clothesline delivered by Jonathan Reed. And off a great suplex by Rick Hervis. Now looking at it. I think the options are there. You wouldn't have expected that, but. Curvers might really mop the floor with Reed here.
And now this is it. A good night for Jonathan Reed. That is certain. And that is it. Rick Herbers is your winner. Grand display there. We're going to take a short look at the remainder of what's set to happen. But well, it's something brilliant that always happens here in RFPW. And that is what we're going to conclude this week's Premier League with. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be seeing each other next week. And if not, check out Fight Night this weekend on Twitch TV slash RFW Network. YouTube.com slash RFW 2014. Rick Curvers, your winner. See you next week again for the Premier Leagues and the Women's Premier League. Until then, I wish you all the very best. Until next time, goodbye.